me or are you against me? Let's ask Arizona Republican John Chedick. Congressman, with the big guy or against him? Uh, well, I think Republicans need to stick with principle. Uh, if, in fact, he's proposing to cut taxes, we should take the deal. But in point of fact, that's not what he's offering. What he's saying is, raise the taxes I want to raise and cut the taxes I want to cut. And the taxes he says he wants to raise will, in fact, do damage to the jobs market. And nobody less than Peter Orzag, his OMB director, now writing for the Washington, the New York Times, says, if we do that, if we do not extend the Bush tax cuts, if we raise those taxes in a down economy, which nobody favors except Obama, will hurt the jobs market. Now, to be That's fair to Mr. Orzak, what he's saying, he is for eventually raising them, just not now. Now, John Boehner, That's exactly right. your, your leader in the House, has said he might be open to mm -hmm. having Republicans push for a two-year extension, don't make them permanent, but a two-year extension. Would you be on board with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, in the minority, you take what you can get. Uh, he's so got a two-year extension majority in the would Congress. get you guys off to make them permanent. Two years from now, when they expire, you'd let them just expire? Because the president might be saying, I don't believe it. Well, we can deal with two years, two years from now. What the American people want us to do is deal with the economy today. They're out of work today. Right. And raising taxes today is going to hurt the jobs market but today. But, Congressman, you were I, see, I see the wisdom of your points, what you're saying. I, I do. What I meant by the punk comment and teasing this is I think the president's trying to call your bluff here and dare you to, to either do what he says or don't. And if you do, you're in lockstep with him. If you don't, it looks like he's throwing you one of the things you guys have always wanted, some tax relief, tax credits totally $130 billion, which ain't jump change, as you know. And then you oppose that and you look like hypocrites. All you are is the party of no. Neil, this is bait and switch. This speech was class warfare today. Class warfare saying the Republicans are favoring tax cuts for the rich. Uh, class warfare going after John Boehner on the foreign uh, investment tax credit, right. which does not actually create jobs overseas. What it does is it protects American companies, which are taxed then on both their overseas profits Congress and Congressman, I'm not profits. going to negotiate so, Washington policy for you because you don't want to go there. It would be messy. But why don't you call his bluff then, knowing call how slow it takes stimulus to come out and that we're still looking at 300 or 350 billion worth of the 700 billion that is just sitting in a bank account somewhere. You know the 50 billion comes out, but you know and, and will demand that that tax credit relief be immediate. You had your cake and, and eaten it too, which actually is a dumb expression, I grant you, because if you have the cake, you might as well eat the damn thing. But I digress. What do you think of that? If Call he, his bluff. Go right back at him. I'm absolutely for calling his bluff. I'm for saying if you'll give us straight up tax cuts that will help this economy and create jobs, we're there. But what he's really doing is he'll couple the tax cuts with some other bad policy. I mean, these guys are. No, no, what I'm saying is stimulus. accept it. Accept they the tax credits. And the $50 billion in stimulus, it's a rounding error right now, as you know, these days, Congressman. I'm being a bit facetious here. Well, they call but us in other back words, in other words you get the, the tax August credit, break. I grant you, but the tax credits you're getting immediately, you know how slow it takes Washington just to write checks. It, it, it's going to take forever for that money to get out. And meanwhile, you'll have your tax credits. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Case you're, saying, you're saying call his... Call his, call his bluff by taking his deal. But his deal isn't what he's telling the American people it is. His deal isn't, you know what? Stimulus hasn't worked. Let's cut tax rates and stimulate this economy. It's cut the tax rates. I want to cut, but let's raise these other tax rates. Cut these other tax rates. Well, let's say they're going into effect. Every... No, no, you're right. They're going into effect anyway for the upper income. But, but he's going to give you these $130 billion in tax credits because he's going to turn it around on you guys, sir, and say, well... I offered them exactly what they wanted or most of what they wanted. They said all or nothing, and they stomp off out of the playground, and uh, they don't get what they want. I'm shocked, Neil. He's going to try to turn this around on us and play politics with this by saying they didn't take my great deal. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think this guy's got the credibility to carry that off right now. I'm he's telling tried, you, buddy. He's I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Listen to me now and ignore me later. He is trying okay. to triangulate you guys. I don't even know what that word Absolutely. means. Absolutely. But... It's a big deal. He's putting you into a corner, and you don't even know it. Oh, no, I think we do know it. I think we recognize that he's trying to get us to go along with his idea, and therefore, oh, well, I gave the Republicans what they wanted. The important thing is to make sure the people understand he's not giving the Republicans what we've been asking I for. See. What we are saying is that tax increases will harm this economy, and everyone, Republican economists, 
Democrat economists, liberal, conservative, all say, right down to Peter Orzag, damaging this economy right now is what will happen if we raise tax rates. One of the things you want to deal with, the un with this economy, deal with the uncertainty. Businesses okay. are saying, are taxes going up or are they not going By up? By the way, On real who? quick, How I just much? want to finalize a potential deal between you guys. Do you think that okay. this two-year extension for the, the tax cuts for the rich, does that have any leverage, uh, bargaining chip leverage here? Because I think Boehner wouldn't have raised it without thinking it did. Oh, I think it does. Mm -hmm. I, I, there are Democrats uh, in the Congress who desperately oppose what the president proposed today and believe the right thing to do is not okay. raise taxes in this economy. All right, Congress, Democrats. I think we settled a lot of ground here. I think we... We brought the two sides together, and you were a big part of that. Congressman, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you. By the way, thank we you. want to hear.